Hey Simleys, it's Delicracy here with Let's Play The Sims for Barbie Season 2, Episode 25. And we, we just had uh, Topaz and Amethyst having a little bit of a cute, a little bit of a cute interaction just there as brother and sister. They are very close siblings. They're kind of the al alternative siblings in the house. They've got an interesting sense of style. <laughs> Topaz goes for this kind of like he has no money look when his family's loaded. And then Amethyst just has the cutest like hipster-esque slash glam look. Hey, it's Diamond. How you going, girl? Uh, in the last part, we did focus on Diamond's new house. We'd moved in there and we were focusing on her and Augustus leveling up the, their careers because now they have a baby Mercedes. We really, uh, we really want them to have a good household that can support their children really well and they don't always have to rely on Diamond's, I suppose, her inheritance, really, from Margie and the, the Barbie Roberts fortune. Oh, Amethyst is so sweet. She's so sweet to her siblings. I just love her. Um, but I was thinking this part because Topaz's social is quite far down. Uh, I'm thinking that we we take him on a date with Nita because you guys have actually been voicing your opinions in the LP that you really want him and Nita to get together. And I think I think that's a good idea. So let's go. Let's go out somewhere. Let's go to a nice restaurant now that the Sims 4 dine out has has arrived. And I've actually placed a restaurant over here called Breakfast Break, uh, even though we're going to be using it for dinner. This is by all 0101 on the gallery and they had used the hashtag Deligracy. So sometimes I search the hashtag Deligracy and see what you guys are up to, what you guys are creating. And I just absolutely fell in love with this lot. It's gorgeous. It's really simple, but really nice and somewhere I would love to visit in real life if I was going out for a meal. So... I think it's going to be a pretty romantic date for the old uh, Topaz and Nita. These guys are really sweet. And I like uh, that Nita isn't the typical blonde Barbie look and feel. <gasps> Mess around in bush. Nah. <gasps> Us just to be friends. No. We want this to happen. Oh, I like his outfit today. He's very, um, he's very, uh, I don't know. Cash, cash, and just doing his own thing. <laughs> Anyways, let's go over to here to Victor. Oh, I'll show you guys this gorgeous slot first. So I like this because it's all open. Uh, this is a bit weird how these cut through the top. That's the only thing about this lot I have to critique. Otherwise, it's perfect. I love how these lights go across here, across the, uh, what do you call these? Beams, exposed beams, and we've got... Just beautiful plants everywhere. It's so nice, so open, and perfection. Right, actually, let's do a little bit more romancing with Nita. She's busting to go to the toilet, though, so let's just express our admiration. And maybe also, do we want to, to kiss her or flirt with her? Let's go for a kiss. Let's go for a little kiss. It's not their first kiss. But they clearly like each other. Oh my gosh, I'm swooning so hard over this couple. Oh, yes, I love these guys. All right, Topaz, request a table for you and your little lady. She's so beautiful. This was a sim created by Simly as well. She's quite, quite a special looking sim. Yeah, I thought she would run to the toilet as soon as she had the chance. <laughs> Oh, this is nice how there's some lounges outside as well. Oh, look at her getting all dolled up. So that's why you wanted to go to the toilet, is it? All right. It's like, can I please have the best table in the house? He comes from a very glam family, so he knows the ways of being glam and living the high life, but he doesn't show off about it. He only does it when it's necessary. He's not the kind of guy to want people to know he has money. Here's your table. Enjoy your meal. Thanks, mate. Ooh, we get the little the little lounge booth in the corner. These look really nice too. Oh, she looks so pretty. Oh my gosh. <gasps> he, he would definitely pay. Definitely pay. Well, let's just order something. Let's order uh, a meal. Maybe he'll be like, I'll order for you, Nita. I know what you like. Ooh, root beer float. Um, where's the wine? This menu isn't as snazzy as I was hoping for. 
eh, that's all right. They're only, they're only teens after all. Uh, let's see. Let's get two of these because apparently the chef recommends those so they can have those to drink. Let's skip appetizers and go straight to, uh, maybe we'll get the roast chicken for Nita. And then for Topaz, we'll get the chef's choice, the steak. And uh, we might get dessert at the end if, if he feels like it. She doesn't look that, t she doesn't look very happy, does she? I feel like maybe she's a bit unwell. I don't know. She's so pretty. Oh my lord. What shoes is she wearing? Mm, wedges. Nice choice. Thank you, Bob Pancakes. Oh, you're getting so old, Bob. Why are you in the kitchen cooking? Okay, let's do a little bit of romancing. Let's say, let's let Nita know she looks really nice this evening. You look, you're looking beautiful, Nita. Oh my gosh, Topaz, I have the biggest crush on you right now. Uh, <laughs> and then romance, maybe ask if single. <gasps> he should ask her to be his girlfriend on this date, but we'll wait to the end. We'll wait to the end. Okay, she's single. If she wasn't single, that would have just broken my heart. We'll suss out if she's a relationship kind of girl. So we know if we want to ask her out fully. Maybe blow her a kiss. And, you know, we don't want him to just always be flirting. So I feel like we want to just have them be friendly as well. He's a funny kind of guy. He's super funny. So maybe he can joke about fashion a bit. He doesn't take uh, brands and whatnot too seriously. So that's kind of cute. And this should really get their relationship up. I just don't understand why she's being such a puss face right now. I mean, seriously. Stop being such a puss face, Nita. <laughs> it's just not, it's not nice. She's happy when she's talking about herself though. So, you know, maybe she's got some issues happening. That's fine. That's fine. All right. Where's our food? Bob. We want our food. Ooh, Mikkel. I like how there's a bigger chef and then a little chef. It's quite cute. Cassandra Goth is chefing right now? Seriously? It looks nothing like her. Wow. Oh, thank you, Bob. Oh, where did Nita go? Um, Nita? Um, what? Did she just go to the bathroom? Huh. I don't know where she went. What happened to her meal? Did she just stand us up? Surely not. She'll come back. She'll come back to us, right? Please come back, Nita. This is like a really expensive steak. I'm so sad. I, I, I feel feels for him right now. I know, I know she wasn't in the best mood, but still, it doesn't mean you just leave. Oh, oh, okay. And now we get all of the dirty plates dumped on our table. Ugh, seriously, do not do that. Rudeness. Well, I don't know. She just like left us. I'm really, I'm devastated. Maybe he's like, okay. Oh my gosh, he looks so sad. Topaz is like, well, I know what that means. Maybe I'll just ask her out and see. Maybe that's what she wants. Maybe she's been dragged along for too long and she's not happy about that. Maybe we're too flirty. I don't know, we're just being funny though. Okay. All right, well, let's pay and I guess we'll find out where she is. She canceled her meal as well. So that's kind of a class act. Let's just see if she'll come meet us or if she's asleep. I don't know. Maybe she was sick. That was just so rude. I'm disappointed for you, Topaz. Let's just wait for her to arrive and then maybe we can... <sighs> I think we should just go ask her out because maybe that's all she wants. Maybe she's being a puts face because she just wants to be asked out. All right. Let's just reveal crush. She's not one to wait. 
Oh my gosh, she's standing so far away from her because he feels like she left him and it's awkward now. So cute. Let's take her to a more romantic spot. Uh, let's go to this like chess area. This is quite cute. Maybe they can stand in the middle of the chess field and he can ask her out there. Sims do not follow us. Okay, let's be funny because he's a really funny guy. He, that's how he gets along with people. He cracks jokes. And then passionate kiss. And then let's just go for it. Let's ask to be girlfriend. Aww. Okay, this is it, you guys. <gasps> oh, cute! Oh my goodness. These guys are like OTP. OTP. Oh, goals. Kiss cheek. I love her. You know what? Let's um let's invite home. Can we can we invite to stay the night? Is that in romance? Uh Exchange promise rings! Yes. Oh, no way. That is a cute... No, actually, oh, we're moving too fast. We're moving too fast. Too fast. Okay. Let's just uh, ask to invite to stay the night. We do have a double bed. A sleepover sounds great. All right, let's go home then. I mean, it is one in the morning, two in the morning, so... It's nice for her to come home with us. Okay, girl, let's do this. Maybe they'll fool around a little bit. Oh, that's so cute. This makes me really happy, you guys. I feel like they are such a perfect match. Now we've just got to find Amethyst someone. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Um, Amethyst, we've always said Amethyst is bi. So she could be with a girl or a boy, I think. Uh, if you guys have any sims that you would like to create for Amethyst, feel free to upload them to the gallery uh, under Deligracy Barbie hashtag. So hashtag Deligracy Barbie and uh, I'll just go through them and see maybe if one of them, uh, a couple of them I'll put in the world. Um, so if you'd like to, feel free to. Oh, Kenny boy, why are you up so late? Uh, maybe we'll express our admiration for his dad because, you know, father-son moment. <laughs> they just wave. Just wave. Who's walking along the street this late at night? Girl. Okay, let's go to sleep. I don't know if Nita's here, but... Oh, she never came home with us? That's weird. I thought she just would have come home, assuming we asked her to stay at night. We might actually have to ask her to stay the night again. And I think we'll just do a little bit of a mess around with Nita Greenwood and then we can go to sleep. And uh, it's kind of awkward because Ken's like, oh no, he's moved. Why? Uh, he's like, Ruby, go to bed. <laughs> And she's probably say, no, dad, I don't want to sleep in a room with Onyx. He's a big stench. Because uh, if you guys watched the last couple of parts, she and Onyx are now sharing a room because Jem has moved home temporarily and she's not happy about that. All right, Jemmy boy. Also, Jem and Honey, their girlfriend, boyfriend, and a lot of you guys were saying... Jem should cheat on Honey, and then Honey should, like, get a makeover for the wrong reason, you know, f to impress Jem, and then she'll probably realize that Jem's just not worth it. Something like that. Let's get you to go to bed. Uh, Bobby, what trimester are you in? Ooh, she's in her third trimester. We better move out some of the Sims, actually, because we need to have twins. So we might get Jem to find his own place for a little while. Um, he's in like man place. Maybe we'll move him out with a couple of mates. If you guys want to make some mates, uh, use the hashtag Deligracy Barbie. 
on the gallery if you want to make like some housemates for Jem that he hangs around with. Maybe they're girls, maybe they're guys, maybe he'll fall in love with his housemate. I love that idea. Um, are these guys fooling around? Oh, I don't know if they got to fool around, but let's go to sleep. Oh, you guys are so cute. Love you. Love you. <laughs> now they're all asleep. Uh, I am nervous about Barbie having a baby while Jem's still in the house. So... I might, um, where should we move Jem? Where should we move Jem into? <sighs> Let's get a temporary house for Jem. He's just going to be like, no, I'm getting my own place. Screw this. I'm sick of living at home. So let's go to map. Um, actually, no, we don't want to go to map. We need to go to move. Sure. Oops. Let's so we'll go to move house. Oh, wait, do we have to do this from... Yeah, that's right. It's not like Sims 3. You can't just move out one Sim. You have to go to map view and then you have to move the Sim out that way. A little bit different to Sims 3, but still. Same, same. Okay, so Gem, we need a little house for Gem to live in. And it's going to be a nice house. Maybe we should go on the gallery and see some creations that you guys have made. What have we got here? What have we got here? Oh. Modern starter is kind of a cool idea because I guess he does need to move into a starter house, but there's only one bedroom. That's your problem. What about this one? Three bedrooms. This is pretty gorgeous. The house of friends. This home was built for four college buddies, but could easily be renovated into a family home. This is perfect. This is exactly what we need. Why is there a kid's room if it's for four college buddies? Huh. Pretty cute though. Let's place this. How big is this lot? How big is this? 40 by 30. I'm blind. Okay, 40 by 30 by Homies Smash. Shout out to you. Uh, using all the hashtags. <laughs> um, hopefully, Homies Smash sometimes watch some. Oh, wait. Original by Macy Winkler. Okay. Uh, I don't know. What's this one? This is cool. This is super cool. Ooh, let's get this one. This one's really cool. And uh, looks like a bit of a gem bachelor pad, potentially. Yes, 30 by 20, done. Shout out to Macy Winkler. Alrighty, so I've just placed this lot and it is epic. It is totally a beach party house bachelor pad. So I reckon maybe the Barbie family own this as an investment property. And so they're like, okay, Jem, you can stay in there with a few friends for now. Um, just before, you know, you get a job and get your own two feet on the ground. And he's like, sweet. So if you guys create some friends under the hashtag Dilligrusi Barbie, um, some housemates for him, probably two housemates, two or three housemates max. Uh, we can have some parties here and maybe he might cheat on honey with uh, a girl in the house or something like that. But this house is absolutely gorgeous. I love the amount of effort of this painting here and these carpets and it's super nice, super nice. And I love this little microwave area and all of these different cupboards kind of put together. Look at this. How has this been done? What? What is this? Oh. How did they get those gaps there? Interesting. Hmm. I like it. It's a good build. Uh, but yeah, so we've got... This can be Jem's room. Then there's one, two, three more beds. So we can have two or three more housemates to live here. So yay! Jem's got his own bachelor pad. And I love it. And he can eat whatever he likes. So he's going to get some hot dogs. And maybe he can invite... Honey over, although it's 11.30. Do you reckon she'll come over for a booty call or maybe not? Let's see. Jim's such a player. He's not the nicest sim. We know that. Honey is sleeping. He's like, oh, fine. We could get, I mean, what's Jim going to do with his life? Does he, did we get him a job? I don't have a job. His fitness is level three. So maybe we'll get him to become like a fitness instructor or something. So... Yeah, let's join a career. Let's get him a job. 
And the plan is, Barbie has said, Barbie and Ken have said, we will support you whilst you get a job. You can live here temporarily, but we do need to sell the house. So you can't be here for too long. All right, it's just Eden up. Eating up. Oh, he wants to have a party. Did you guys see that? We should have a crazy party and like trash the house. Uh, let's see. Let's do athlete. Unless entertainer, painter, secret agent. Secret agent? Hmm. All right. I think he would be an athlete. Uh, requires physical strength, speed, endurance, and intelligence. Start a career where enthusiastic fans will shout your name, wear your jersey, and remember your feats forever. Professional athlete and bodybuilder. Hmm. Or we could just get him to go into the business career and he could enter the family business, which I kind of like that idea. Because I don't think Jem has it in him to be a sports star. So, you know what? Let's just make him a business guy. I mean, he can always change. He can always change if you guys think he should be a sports star. But he's, I think he's... Like, he's been given everything. He's grown up in this crazy wealthy family. He probably has will never need to work that hard for anything. And I don't know. I think he's the eldest. He's the spoiled one. He's always been the favorite. He probably gets given heaps of money. So, well, not necessarily the favorite, but he's the eldest boy. So, he's got some privileges there. Uh, so, maybe. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, this is a cute little meditation area, too. So sweet. Anyways, right. Good job cleaning up, Jem. <laughs> Good job. Let's go use that toilet. And soon we'll have some housemates move in in the next part. And that should be pretty nice. And then Barbie will probably have her baby as well, which is, wow, that's crazy. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, I'm going to leave this part right here. I'm going to put Jem to bed. Actually, what do you need to do? He needs to just fill out some reports, which he hasn't started. Maybe he should be a bodybuilder. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Anyways, you guys, I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. And I'll speak to you soon.